The Intelligence Committee Chair Adam Schiff wants the Attorney General of the United States to release classified information. The Judiciary Chair Jerry Nadler wants the Attorney General of the United States to release grand jury material. That's where we're at because they are so focused on getting the president. Forget about the, the rule of law and how things are supposed to happen. They're all about getting the president, and that is a sad state of affairs. So Jim Jordan calling out his colleagues. Democrats have ramped up their investigation of the president in a significant way, too. They moved on three issues in about eight hours yesterday. Ken Starr wrote the book Contempt, a memoir of the Clinton investigation. He's got some experience on this. And sir, good morning to you in Waco, Texas, and thank you. Uh, thank you for coming back here. Jerry Nadler said his committee must see everything that Barr has in his possession. How much do you think they will see, or perhaps given your experience in this, how much do you think we see in the end? We have to protect grand jury information, full stop. Uh, now, there can be a court order under certain circumstances to reveal this, but you know, there are policy reasons for grand jury secrecy. It's not just a rule, it's a rule that says, Witness, when you go before the grand jury, you can rest assured, you've got to be truthful, don't lie, but you can rest assured that that will remain confidential except the most extraordinary circumstances. Just wide and full disclosure is just not anticipated by, uh, by witnesses. So I think it really tugs at the very purpose and function of a grand jury. Leaving aside national security information, as we know, Bob Mueller reached out to uh, a number of uh, foreign countries. There's some 13 requests of foreign countries. So there's a lot of sensitive stuff, and we haven't even gotten to privacy interests that uh, Chairman Nadler used to care a lot about. Yeah, um, the, the, the way the law was for you 21 <laughs> years ago, you were required to give yeah. your report to Congress. The way the law is since so, is that, you know, Mueller's required to give his information to Attorney General William Barr, to which he said last Friday afternoon, we're preparing the, re the report for the release, and the special counsel is assisting us in this process. Peel back the curtain. Are they all in a room together saying what's in and what's out? How does that work? Yeah, they will literally be in a room going line by line. Obviously, we live in the electronic age, but I'll bet you a nickel that they are sitting around going line by line through the report, so that's going to take a while. But uh, Bill Barr has promised transparency, so he's going to try to do his job to protect the sanctity and the confidentiality of the grand jury process. Again, we've talked about national security information. But they're, they're going in with highlighters and saying, hey, this is grand jury uh, information, so we've got to be careful about that. So, by the way, just as a quick editorial yeah. note, we now see the problems of what we used to do during the statute under which I operate, which is full disclosure, give it to Congress, and then Congress will do whatever it wants. So guess what Congress did with the so-called Star Report? Revealed it all, shockingly, right? And then people recoiled and said, well, we don't want that anymore. That's what these regulations are designed to do, to stop that kind of complete, full Monty disclosure. Oh. You were accused of presidential harassment in the 1990s. You remember yeah. that all too well. And now the president's going to say the same <laughs> thing. Too. In, in eight hours yesterday, as I mentioned a moment ago, the request for tax returns for six years, financial records from his company, and also the full Mueller report, as I mentioned a moment ago as well. How do you now look at what is happening um, in, it, as we await the, the bar conclusions? Uh, Bill, it's clear that it's it's all out war against uh, the president. Uh, the House of Representatives, uh, the majority, is seeking to use its entire power to do everything it can on every front to go after the president of the United States. Uh, but th guess what? The president is going to have defenses. He's going to have responses. Th this may very well end up in court if this continues. So uh, we've got a lot of stormy weather ahead, unfortunately. Well, Ken Starr, I hope you come back when the clouds clear. Or before. Thank you so much for your time today. Nice to talk to you. My pleasure. Sam.